What is going on guys, Chris here, and welcome back to another Pokemon Shiny Hunting video on YouTube for the first time in such a very, very long time that I've made a, a video on you on this YouTube channel. Um, now, I mean, I have explained previously in the Stack Attacker video back all the way back in December last year, the reasons why I kind of have difficulty producing regular Shiny Hunting videos. But for those of you who haven't seen that, I'll link it in the description and embed a link in the video. But I'll explain briefly now again that a lot of the problems center around me hunting on two DS's and only having a phone at my disposal. Now that's fine for a reasonable quality capture of one DS screen, but not both at the same time because my desk isn't big enough. So I would have to invest in a camera if I was to record both screens at the same time. So. On top of that, I have been doing quite a few easier SOS sort of hunts, and my reaction to that, well, those kind of shinies, maybes, I don't feel is enough to warrant a video, wouldn't be a particularly impressive reaction, so I don't put that content out there. But I am planning on hopefully building a streaming community. Um, so. I mean, I may not have the time to do this regularly now because I'm preparing for exams uh, in school, but sort of summertime, maybe August, when I'm back from holiday and have free time, I could definitely build a streaming community, and that is something I'm looking to do. Now, I would invest in a camera for that, and hopefully would find a way to, to record two screens at once. And if I could do that, then I think I definitely would be looking into getting you know, stream captures on Twitch of kind of more regular shiny hunts and perhaps capture my reaction to more of my shinies of which I have over 230 now for the living decks but I am hopefully looking to you know, beyond this point build a Twitch community and record and produce more regular shiny reaction videos on YouTube but in any case, this Guzzlord that appeared after 2,300 SRs roughly with the shiny charm on Ultra Sun and Moon after a whopping 6 days to find the wormhole. <laughs> it was a mammoth hunt, almost as hard as the shiny hunt itself. Um, so yeah, enjoy my, my quite over the top reaction to this shiny Guzzlord in the Ultra Wormhole. Yes! Yes, yeah, shiny guzzlord! Yes! Boom! There we go. Finally got this thing. Nice. Whew. Right, hang on a minute. Let's just shut the type null down on the other screen and get this thing caught. Okay. Right. I need to remove my elastic band and be very careful because I don't want to knock the game cartridge. Okay, I'll put it up there. Cool. And back in focus. Nice, first shiny in like a month. It's been a long time. On and off shiny hunting since then. <sighs> Took me like six days to get this thing through wormholes as well. Like this is not an easy Pokemon to shiny hunt for. Had the shiny charm, but I think it took, mm, I mean, estimations wise, maybe it's around 2,300. So, quite some way over odds, but you know what, I'll take it. I'll take it. I mean, <laughs> so yeah, like. <laughs> Obviously, the, the six days to, to actually get the spring through wormholes. And then, <laughs> I, I think maybe it's the 8th I started hunting. Today being the 24th when I record this. So. To see to why it is then. I just kind of want to get this thing down, maybe. Mm, I, don't, I don't know how far. I think, like, maybe it's just... Okay. A couple more of these will do, I think. 
because, I mean, a beast ball on red health, you don't even need status conditions for that to be effective. Right, now please say this is not the point at which I realise I don't have beast balls. It isn't, so we should be good. This should get it, and if not, the next one. I'll put it to sleep if it doesn't. Two. Three. Nice, got it first time, there we go. Well, I mean, it could have been a lot further over odds, so I'm pretty satisfied with that. Because I've been having some pretty decent luck lately. Um, got the Bacon Birdie Valtol, like 400. <laughs> um, and I'm pretty sure I had my last hunt particularly before this was a 79 for my Reap, so... I'll take it, definitely, I will take that. Now, I do not know what to nickname this thing. Um, it's got to be something food related, because this thing is one heck of a, one hell of a glutton. Guzzlord is a big alien. Big alien glutton. And it has diabetes. I, I now declare. Okay, so, <laughs> nice, I mean we... I did think this was gonna go further over odds, so I am sad, I'm glad that the, this, this Guzzlord decided to show today, and that is gonna be the end of the video, so I suppose the next video should be Type Null, but obviously that's full odds, 1 in 4096, currently going at around 2100, so I might take a while to get that thing, but... I will see you guys when that thing pops up, so thank you for watching this video. I hope you have an awesome day and peace out.